Welcome back to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel. Happy Whitney weekend. And that ex is exactly what we're going to talk about today. My exact pick for the Whitney. We have a full field of 12 entered into the 1 million grade one Whitney. For time constraint reasons, I'm leaving on vacation 10 minutes. And so this isn't 15 minutes of me just talking. I'm going to talk about each horse very briefly in a sentence or two and then give my picks and how I think this race is going to play out. So to start off, we have number one post time. He finished second behind your favorite national treasure in the G1 Metropolitan. I love that he is a closer and in his last two races, he was making up ground, but then just ran out of room. So with this race, just a little bit longer than his last two. I think that that's actually going to suit his running style. The number two is Disarm. <sighs> he was my top pick for the Stephen Foster. I was fooled by him. I'm not going to be fooled again. He got off a bit slow in that race, got an 89 buyer. He has late speed as well. Um, he just wasn't able to do it last time out. I just don't trust him. The number three is National Treasure. He has consistent over 100 buyers in his last three races in the United States. In the Saudi, he finished fourth. He definitely has the speed in this race, but he's not going to be alone. And I'm not sure if we're going to get the fast track this weekend at Saratoga with a lot of rain in the forecast. The number four is Warrior Johnny. This is a big step up from what he's been doing this last year. The last time he was in a G1 company, he didn't do so well. So I'm going to pass. The number five is first mission. I didn't pick him in the Stephen Foster. I honestly just don't think he's that great. Anytime he is up against G1 company, he doesn't do that great. Now, I will say he's one for one on a wet track, so that could fare well for him. The number six is Il Miracolo. I always say that horse name wrong. I'm just going to pass when I'm going to talk about him. The number seven is Krupe. He got second in the Brooklyn by nine lengths. Before that, he won the Suburban. I just think he's a step below some of these other races in here, other horses in here. Um, the number eight is Tumba Rumba. He's finished in the top two in every single race in the last eight months, but he's never been in G1. He has consistent mid-90 buyers. He has speed, but he's just not going to be the fastest in here. The number nine is Bright Future. He is a stalker. He finished sixth in a Breeders' Cup Classic. He got stuck behind some horses, came back after a seven-month layoff, and won at Mon Monmouth against OK Company in a G3. Um, has three over 100 buyers, is two for two at Saratoga, and likes to stop. So to me, that's a little interesting here. The number 10 is Skippy Longstocking. He got third in the Stephen Foster. Before that, he won back-to-back. -back. He has a lot of early speed, but he doesn't really have to be in the lead. He likes to sit behind the leader, and he is two for two on a wet track. The number 11 is Arthur's Ride. He popped a 111 buyer in optional clamor last month, which is impressive because typically stakes races are the ones with the inflated buyers. So to get that in optional clamor, that's great. He won a buy over 12 lengths. He wants the lead or to be near it. I just think he's going to have some competition here. The number 12 is Charge It. I think we've seen the best of him. Just let him go back to the farm. Let him rest, Todd. So with all of that said, with rain in the forecast, it could be a sloppy or a wet fast track the week, this weekend at Saratoga. I don't think it's going to be blazing fast like it has been these last couple weekends. Um, so if you look at the favorites National Treasures resume, he has only ever won on a fast track. Um, when he was on the slop, when he was on a wet fast track, he didn't do great. So I'm going to fade him. I'm not going to pick him here. So my top pick and what I'm going to base my exact this around is the number 10 Skippy Longstocking. I think he's going to be sitting behind the leaders, National Treasure and Arthur's Ride, where a meltdown may happen because they both are going to want the lead. He loves a wet track, and I think that this race is really going to favor a stalker. Um, underneath, I like the number nine, Bright Future. I think he's on the up and up, and he loves Saratoga. And he's also going to be sitting behind the leaders. So in a $10 Exacta box, I'm going to play 910. And then in my smaller one, I'm going to add in the number one because he intrigues me. So that's going to be a 1910 Exacta box. Thanks for tuning in to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel. Make sure you are subscribed so you never miss a video. 
Make sure to check out my best bets exacta this weekend on the Racing Dudes Best Bet page on their website. Last weekend on the first race, we won $170 on a $5 exacta box. Let me know below who you're picking for this race. And until next week, guys, good luck.